she stopped a bullet. Malala Yousafzai went up against the brutal Taliban and lived to tell it. Malala Yousafzai is a Pakistani girl's education activist who survived an assassination attempt at the age of 15. Her incredible journey from a teenage advocate for girls' education to a global symbol of grit and resilience demonstrates the transformative power of one person's unrelenting commitment to justice and equality. Malala Yousafzai challenged the Taliban restrictions on female education in Pakistan and became an international icon of the battle for girls' education. Malala Yousafzai was born on July 12, 1997, in Mingora, Pakistan's northern Swat Valley. Her father, Ziauddin Yousafzai, is an education campaigner, and her mother was uneducated until her 40s. Malala attended a school that her father founded. The Taliban, popularly known to be against girl-child education, began attacking girls' schools around where Malala lived. Outraged, she gave a speech in Peshawar, Pakistan, titled, How Dare the Taliban Take Away My Basic Right to Education, which started to get her noticed by international audiences. Shortly after, Malala began blogging for the BBC under a pseudonym, Gul Makai, as there were already threats made to her life by the Taliban. Unfortunately, her identity became known to the public and eventually the Taliban. Malala continued to advocate for the rights of girls and women and her platform grew widely. She was nominated for the International Children's Peace Prize and won the award for Pakistan's National Youth Peace Prize. In 2012, Malala and her fellow schoolgirls were riding in a bus when a masked gunman boarded the bus and demanded to know which one of the girls was Malala. Instinctively, the girls turned towards her and the gunman shot her on the side of her head. This attack left her critically injured Two other girls sustained injuries as a result. Malala had swelling in her brain and a portion of her skull had to be removed. She was flown to England and put in a medically induced coma. There, she received the rest of her treatment. The assassination attempt on her life was widely condemned. Over two million individuals in Pakistan signed a petition for the right to education and the National Assembly passed the country's first right to free and compulsory education bill she and her father co-founded the Malala Fund to raise awareness about the social and economic implications of girls' education and to empower girls to demand change. It also ensures that girls would have access to free education for 12 years. This non-profit organization came after the foundation created by UNESCO and the Pakistani government called the Malala Fund for Girls' Education. Malala became the youngest person to win a Nobel Peace Prize. Despite her worldwide recognition, Malala remains a target for those who oppose her message of equality and education. She has received criticism and threats from extremist groups and conservatives who want to silence her voice. Fully recovered on July 12, 2013, her 16th birthday, she gave a speech at the United Nations highlighting her causes. She also spoke about the attack, stating, they thought that the bullets would silence us but they failed. The terrorists thought that they would change our aims and stop our ambitions, but nothing changed in my life except this. Weakness, fear, and hopelessness died. Strength, power, and courage were born. July 12th was named Malala Day by the United Nations in honor of the young activist. Malala has remained firm in her commitment to justice and equality encouraging millions to join her in the fight for a brighter future. She is a true champion of hope, courage, and strength for generations to come.